toy. Look guys, look at recording. So here we are in the centre of the galaxy, where we wanted to get further away than Zeus ended up throwing us backwards. So, uh, Shotaro and Wata uh, normally hella caught, they're like, everyone's like, don't you want anything to eat? And they're like, oh, no, not really, because uh, while we're hungry boys, we, um, f the food's not going to last forever, right? So, uh, yeah, and he's like, yeah, so the, the woman, um, Rika or whatever her name is, like, you can call me this, it's my name, don't worry. Um... It's like, yeah, we we might not have um, food unless we ration good. And her Vicky's like, what's for dinner? I'm back from having the bad fever. I feel good. And um, he's like, you can't eat all the food. And he's like, don't worry, isn't he? Vicky's a cool growing boy. <laughs> don't call me Grams. But then uh, Hibiki uh, tells the little kids the story, a little anecdote from his childhood, so you've got to hear more Hibiki backstory, and he says his father made sure he ate properly as a means of uh, not only ingesting nutrition, but so he would value the process of living. And everyone's like, wow, your dad must have been real wise, I guess. <laughs> Brilliant. My dad used to make me eat food. Not so I would just be alive, but so I would appreciate being alive. Thanks. Fucking Hibiki, no one's got problems. Uh, Akagi, um, is like, oh yeah, but food wasn't scarce then, I guess. But he's here, and everyone's like, wow, you're doing, yeah, so everyone's like, so, hey Akagi, you're doing real good for uh, being a wage slave, being out here in space, right? And Akagi basically just says, Ah, well, when I was a kid I wanted to be an astronaut, so this is like a dream come true for me. And Aoyama here is like, I had similar hopes. You're really like, I wanted to become an astronaut too. And then they're like, thinking of it, this isn't a bad place to have a brew and gaze at the stars, right? And Yoma is like, hell yeah, let's just uh, drink beers and look at the stars all around us. And uh, Simon is like, uh, uh, hell yeah, I'm down for that too, because uh, I never used to have a chance to do that, because uh, last time we were here, I was battling the anti-spirals. Uh, but unfortunately, yeah, he's like, I was using my drill, yeah, fighting the anti-spirals, uh, and uh, near and the Earth need saving again, so no more scenic uh, voyages around the stars this time either. And then everyone gets serious. And then Ryan was like, Fucking invaders! I'm gonna kill them all! No problem! Don't worry about it! And this is scenario 15? Um, splitting Dimensions. And then the incoming side reels. I hate them. And then we launch everybody, but we're not actually going to launch everybody. Let's, let's go, Sidereal! Let's beat the shit out of him. Can't wait to bop him, I hate him. Everybody ready? Feeling good and spicy? Sure, it was great, brilliant. <laughs> Koji's having a good time. Yeah, so everybody... Uh, so everybody's like... Normally... We wouldn't want Sidereal to show up, but we're itching for a fight and to find out uh, how they travel from here to Earth so quick. So uh, let's beat the shit out of them. Yeah, everybody's getting real excited and boss is scared. So let's go Sidereal, and uh, now we're going to fuck them up. But how's everybody doing? Everybody feeling good and spicy? I don't suppose any of you have played Feng Shui, the video game. The video game? The RPG game. みんなの怒りを思い知らせてやるぞ。
Yeah, thanks for the RPG. They're gonna hopefully play it Sunday. Nugan can't do the rugged trade. Yeah. I'm gonna make either a martial artist or an old master. And I'm gonna have a sword and I'm gonna be cool and I'm gonna fly around everywhere like it's Crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon. That's my plan, that's my wish. Stupidly powerful, poor guy. Yeah, it, it's. I don't think we've gone into full mega mode yet, but we do have the ability to go into aggressive beast like Max Nova. Yeah, yeah, we do have Max Nova as an option. I believe. I believe everybody like still has their powers they can get again. I think everybody gets like another upgrade later on as well. Fucking Kagi sucks. <laughs> He's really bad everywhere that isn't the ground. That's okay. We we'll sort that idiot out. There's a version of this sung by Hikaru in Neresko and she's got a really squeaky voice so Super robot! What the heck? Poor guy. Next time, we we left time hell and we're now in uh, the heaven chapter. And uh, we're now in the center of the galaxy, give or take a few light years. Like uh, Goat Face Man says, uh, Zeus appeared and was like, "I'll help you get back," and then he threw us, and something weird happened, and we went backwards. Doesn't matter, this is our power. Oh, 
Well, that looks right. Look at that guy. Look at these two idiots. There we go. Nova Max God, we got the full uh, bullshit activated. I still don't know about the giving Noriko the go again. Instead of just having her go out there and start fucking fighting people. Andrew Owen has got a thing he's going to say, so I want him in the front, or otherwise I would have put a higher toe out in front. <laughs> Full throttle, let's go! He wishes he was cold, but unfortunately, he sucks. <sighs> sure, bring it. Why would someone care where he, why would someone care you can just drill a hole home? You're right. He could just drill a hole home. You can do anything. Yeah, next time we got Die Buster and Die Buster Nono meeting at Noriko was really fucked up because she's like, Your name's too close to Nono Riri. And you're not her. She's brave and cool and totally hot super sex babe. And Noriko's like, sorry, that's not me. Sorry. I'm garbage. She, and then she's like, no, no, Riri knows all about the power of hard work and guts. And uh, Lauk says, you'll kill yourself if you keep up that effort and guts crap. And Noriko then went super serious for and was like, you stupid. Effort and guts is the one true key to success. It doesn't matter what you can do. With enough effort and guts, you can overcome anything. And then Nono was like, Wow, maybe you're not so bad after all. But yeah, they basically bonded over their love of trying hard and being garbage. But before we got Noriko back, they talk about Nonariri and they're like, Buster Machines and Nonariri. You don't think that could mean Noriko, do you? And they're like, what's Nonariri like? And then she describes in Hibiki like, a super hot babe. That's not Noriko. The other things fit, but not Noriko. Noriko's... Fucking put a bag on her head. She's awful. It's like, wow, Hibiki, chill the fuck out. You haven't seen her for like six months. She was kidnapped and now you're going around telling everyone she's ugly. Uh, rocket punch combination. <laughs> These little Viking fella AIs. That's what Saka. I remember this attack from the preview and just going, that's just straight out of the opening. Wow.
so good. Oh, and then someone's gonna snipe the Vicky Shaw. Real fucking mature, dude. <laughs> Howdy, Fear Engine, how you doing? And yeah, that's uh, Fire Wars by Jam Project, the Mazin Kaiser theme. Inertial Canceller! Oh, and she used the shield! She used the shield and the Inertial Canceller! But because the barrier stopped, she, she didn't need to use the shield, like, he didn't do the shield animation. What a real Buster machine looks like, kids. Oh, and um, when Noriko got the Gunbuster back, she said, um, um, "Luckily, they left the spare uniforms in the cockpit," which I think is like the only, like that actually makes what happens in Die Buster make sense when um, she gets in the cockpit of the Snurf and there's the uniform there. Because otherwise, it's just like, why is that there? Other than you want to jerk off about how good Gunbuster is and how much you're totally a sequel. At least Nono can dodge now, in a Evo. Big gun! Firing! Yeah, now we can guy mode, which we will, because it's good. Oh, I guess these fuckers don't want to die just yet. A little damage like that, it's nothing. It happens. Howdy, Gosp, what are you doing? Welcome back, everybody's always welcome. Take this, get a beam. Final Danko got cannon. Shoot! 
What a shot. The plot at the moment is uh, Earth has been taken over by aliens, like 80% of the Earth has been taken over by aliens, and we're trying to fight them, but we just got teleported to the center of the galaxy, and now we are lost in space. We broke out of the time prison, and as soon as that happened, uh, all of the bad dudes started invading Earth. Um, Sosuke is currently missing in action. No, Sosuke! Yeah, Sosuke is missing in action. Uh, his Arbalest was destroyed, so he doesn't have a robot anymore. Um, and Kaname was kidnapped by Leonard, who's uh, Tessa's brother, she's the submarine captain. He's a real shitlord. And uh, the teams and Gundams are in space doing something. They also got teleported away, but... <laughs> Next time it's in XCOM 2. Sort of, if the aliens in XCOM 2 were all a bunch of fuckers. <laughs> You're truly invincible! The SR point for this uh, stage is um, within three turns after the stage changes, you defeat 90 enemies. It automatically ends if 100 enemies are defeated, or four turns after the stage ends. So. It's gonna be a uh, roughed, roughed and trumble, as they say. Well, uh, Hibiki's dying. Right now. But Fog Sweeper can solve that. And then he's gonna get big. Because Guy Mode, we can now do. Make it permanent now. It's all of the time. This is what they are, but all of Yeah, but not like these guys. <laughs> these guys are a real bunch of fuckers. Uh, we've got we've got Barbiel the Needle, whose power is he makes you really spiteful. Um, there's uh, Shiku. Whose power is his robots a big pile of corpses and looks like a dinosaur? I don't know what his actual power is, other than like he like we know what his condition is. His condition is he has to be like like emotionally dead, but we don't actually know what his power is. He's never actually done it. Um, there's Strauss, who's a big golden bull robot. And his power is he's just... We don't know yet. We don't even know what his condition is either. Or the power, just that he's really fucking strong. Um, Asakim's back, and he's more powerful than ever before. And everyone is like, oh no, how did you get out? And he's like, I'm not telling you. And then the actual uh, evil emperor dude also has like some like he's a sphere reactor, but we don't know what his sphere is at all. Where like we know the crab, the scorpion, the bull, and Asakim with whatever the fuck he's got, like all of them. But we don't know what the sphere reactor like the emperor's got. He might just be really powerful. Oh, and uh, Gareth and Cafe, when the uh, the people, uh, when everybody told them about Advent, apparently Gareth and Cafe are like, "Wait, are you sure that guy's a good guy? That seems really suspicious." And they're like, "Yeah, no, he's definitely a good guy. He helped us out." And it's like, 
he, was sh like, he mostly just shows up at random times and then... I don't know, I don't think he is a good guy. And like, no, don't you dare talk shit about Advent, he's the best. And they're like, okay, we'll believe ya. But I think I think they're gonna do the twist where, like they did with Barbiel, where it was like, the fact that we trust anybody who says they're not a bad guy, let them join our team, is really stupid. I think they're gonna do that again, and Advent's gonna turn out to be a fucking bad guy. Like, he died, but he's not dead. That dude's not dead. i never seen a dude less dead than that guy in my life. Uh, yeah, we'll do the remote thing so she can heal. Guess I'm gonna attack ya! Here comes Nono! Uh oh! Room is getting something weird. He's like, uh, what is it, Room? He's like, I, I got a weird feeling. It feels like someone's calling my name. It's like, wait, what? What's happening? Ryoma, I can hear. Can't you hear that? And then, <gasps> it's Satome. Okay, so he's having a hallucination with uh, Professor Satome. It's like Professor Satome, GG. How you? What are you doing here, old man? And then he's talking to him. And he's like, you're not real, you fucking died. You were controlled by uh, the invaders. But... Musashi and Michiru are also here, and are also dead. <laughs> it's like, you should listen to our father, Ryoma. And he's like, yeah, okay, listen. About the getter. So, uh, Saotome says that he's walking a different path to Cohen and Stinger, who are also back, by the way. And, uh... Um, he says, uh, to everybody, yeah, and here are these clowns, like, they're talking to everybody. Yeah, Kei, Go, Benkei, Hayato's gonna get a visitor too. Like, yeah, everybody get. But you gotta listen up, it's about the Geta Rays. Uh, the Geta Rays are responsible for bringing, um, everybody here. And uh, Satomi needs to explain things about the destruction, or rather, the rebirth of the universe. You mean the 20,000 year cycle, old man? It's like, yeah, this involves the Baals. And their job is to erase all life from the, firm uh, the firmament. And uh, life is the key to unlocking the origin law. And uh, these guys say that um, they're conveying this not as servants of a higher power, but uh, to people who have thrown in uh, uh, their lot with the flow of uh, apotheosis. So. You guys are getting real strong, thanks to the Getter Rays. So, uh, we're here to help you out. And now there's another... And now there's a conversation about... 12,000 year cycle, somewhere. So, from the other... Description of 120 million, let's find it from the other path. See if I can find that because it's not here. It's not in the exact scenario before. That was when we learned about what a friggin' god immortal is. Oh, okay, yeah, here we go. Um, who, uh, whoever prevails in the 120 million year cycle stands atop the summit of apotheosis and will wield the power of a god. And a battle between the Baals and the so-called higher-level life forms, such as the Mykonae, uh, shows uh, the way to victory. But there are some people in that higher-level tier who have forgotten their duty, and uh, they name themselves apostles. Uh, and 
I think that's all we, we're going to get out of it, and then we get it interrupted. And Susan is like, oh, so what you're saying, hmm, yeah, very interesting. Yeah, so they mention here, uh, like, uh, the thing after the ellip ellipses, uh, Ryoma was saying there is uh, Shinku, or Shinka. Is it Shinka or Shinka? Uh, Shinka apotheosis. And I think uh, uh, Shinka is just the Buddhist thing of becoming divine. Uh, apotheosis, Shinka. Yeah, Shinka is apotheosis, which is becoming divine. Yeah, so... Shinka, which is what Zeus spoke about last game when he kept saying Shinka and neither friggin' thing translated what Shinka was. But yeah, Shinka is uh, apotheosis. It's like, so, uh, you guys are well on the path to becoming uh, godlike beings. And the Geta Rays are part of that and uh, you gotta... But some people are up in that tier a uh, bunch of shitlords and have forgotten the deal. So, uh, Satome is to drive the point home, he's gonna show us um, what it could look like, the final battle between um, the Baal who want to destroy your life and the final living things. And uh, here we are in a battlefield full of uh, invaders and space monsters fighting each other. So we got Uchu Kaiju, the space monsters, we've got invaders, and uh, now we've got to have a fucking bad time. Yeah, where are Sidereal gone? They've been replaced by all these fucking awful things we got to fight. And Ryoma's was like, okay, so everyone else is like, wow, this is really bad. And Ryoma goes, sounds to me like the perfect practice for the real final fight. <laughs> Let's go, fuckers. Yep, and Koji and Noriko are also hell into this. Um. Everybody gets really rowdy and excited. And then, uh, what about this giant tear in space? What's that about? Um, and it's like, what the heck is that? That looks like, uh... And he's like, yeah, that's a... Uh, rift in space! It's a fissure between dimensions! And, uh, apparently massive amounts of dimensional energy are pouring forth from it. And he's like, is that what they're fighting over? They're fighting over the dimensional energy? Uh, but anyway, we got to hold out for four minutes. Because then there'll be enough energy up to open a wormhole and get the hell out of here. So, let's go, invaders. Let's go, fuck boys. And uh, apparently there are an infinite enemies here. Uh, but it also ends when we hit. 100, and if in three turns we get 90, we get the SR point. So, uh, let's get to Bergen. <laughs> yeah, I knew that was coming. Go, <laughs> is that man has a very round head? Yeah, yeah, Musashi does have a really round head, and he's got beautiful eyes. Your chance sucks. Look at that fucking thing. I and mean, then that's that looks like actually straight up. Um, what Cohen Stinger crawl out of? No, it's the hole that. Um, yeah, it's the hole that Ryoma and the Ghetto Boys fly into at the end of oh, Ghetto Roma Armageddon. 
Yeah, we, in terms of map attacks, what do we got for map attacks? Uh, Gun Lagan, Gunbuster, the Splat, the Punch. Yeah, that's it. We don't got much mucho map attacks. Luckily, what we do have is pretty good. Oh, and I guess the the ghetto boys, but <laughs> I just sat down on his face. Yeah, it's the Fisher they fly in. <laughs> Next time, remember that time Gunbuster became a member that wasted all everything one by one in single turn? They nerfed it, so now her thing doesn't kick in till 170 instead of 150, but. It's still happening. They can't stop it completely. Tarada can't hold me back. Eat this! Bonk! Target lock, flywheel, ready! Damn, just graze his weird little core, buddy. You did it! Done goofed. Yeah, this is that shape. Um. Yeah, Diegard fights Heterodynes on Earth, not Starfish Invaders in space. Where Akagi doesn't know what he's fucking doing at all. I'm not happy about sending these two fucking anywhere to fight, because they'll just get ultra murdered. Uh, these guys can handle it though. These guys can handle it for sure. Dad trying to tell me. Talking about the get a robo. <laughs> Guys is like, I don't get any of this. I think there's something weird about Go. Is he a is he a cool guy? He knows a lot more than he's letting on, I think. At least Kai's got a cool face. You like it's like, yeah, Girl again has the super crazy shaped map attack and it's not post movement. Big O's is, right? Like, Zyra, you've got one fucking job. You fucked it up.
And yeah, the SR point is defeat 90 dudes in three turns. Because the fourth turn it's over. Give me Dari, they're good kids. You're in. Happy to win, how you doing? Well, I mean, our guys gotta go over there, right? We use the love move. Mm. Space monsters. Mm. 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 With the uh, coach's gun buster, I'll beat up all these uh, weird dudes. We won't lose. In uh, Gunbuster, when uh, Noriko graduates and they're walking down the steps, and uh, her childhood friends pushing the shop in up the steps, uh, when Noriko turns back and you see her book, uh, her graduation book, uh, which would normally where it'd say like gradu uh, you graduated class of whatever, uh, it instead has. Like one of the first characters of saying graduating, but it's written in such a way that it's uh, apotheosis, as in like becoming divine. So there's a little uh, interesting facto for you there. I'm gonna swap them, actually. And then we'll gum buster. Uh, we'll buster beam one of these idiots, and then we'll use uh, Nicholas thing to go again. These guys really tick me off. <laughs> this guy this is gonna raise. What? What the deal with gonna raise? What's the deal with apotheosis? Ah, I don't give a shit. Let's just punch invaders till it's over. Fuck Henry Oma. Vision goes, oh right, he's got the plane. Ryoma needs the support of a plane in his life, and all the other planes left, and this is the only one we got. <laughs> Calm the fuck down, victory's assured. Yeah, rings are no match for it back until the left. That's the problem. They were using like a 3D concentric circles, but they only did them in a 2D plane, so it was fine. 
人は手応えのあるやつはいねえのかレスチューゴーああ、these guys did have the different set song And yet, how so? Shouldn't get his partner is the Cosmo Crusher because he needs a plane, and Luca's not here. Let's <laughs> go. No, Koji. Bonk. Oh, they can do the pinch instead of the bop. Take some energy because he is running out. Ah, ah, this is what I wanted. God, I forgot that we did love, so she was just like, she just got flashed, and it's just like, huh? Sorry, bug. You don't even get to bounce off. <laughs> Alright! <laughs> yes! Alright! Space monsters there, got nothing on me. the big bot. Fuck them. Get roasted and toasted, bugs. She's back. Naruko's back. All it took was spells that she doesn't have access to yet. Oh, and she just, like, actually can't do anything, can she? Space monster has done nothing for the rest of the machine. Okay, Ugly face no more. Where are you going, big boy? <laughs> <laughs> 